Another important term that I've talked about in the term sheets is preference, which says who gets their money out first. So using the example of you just invested a million in my company, if I sell it for $700,000, is it fair that I get 80% of the $700,000 because I have 80% of the company? What if the company was just sold for cash? Someone just wanted the cash in the bank. So a typical arrangement is, hey investor, you get your million dollars back first, and then we'll convert. Or said differently, you can have your million back or convert into ownership, it's your choice. Typically not both. And that's called preference, liquidation preference. You hear that term a lot. And finally, the other important term, and, and a term sheet is made up of 25 terms, but I really think these are the important ones, is protective provisions. Typical, typically, an investor will invest in preferred stock. Preferred stock has preference, we've talked about that, that's why it's called preferred stock. And it has certain rights that basically says, you can't sell the company without my permission, you can't raise money without my permission, at least above me on the balance sheet, which would mean debt. You can't raise other preferred stock without me. What that really means is though, even though that investor may only own 1% of the company, or a small piece, they effectively have control over your company, or the outcome of your company. They can't tell you how to run it, but they can tell you, you can't sell it, you can't raise money, which really limits your outcome. So it's a mistake for entrepreneurs to become fixated on, I am 49% of the company, I am 51% of the company, that doesn't matter. What matters is the protective provisions and preference. That's where entrepreneurs need to focus before they can get comfortable raising money from